Yes, well, you see it on WCNC Charlotte almost every week. A map of the United States. You're seeing it right here. And the Carolinas with blobs of yellow, orange, there's red, the drought monitor. But who decides where those colors go? And, and what do they even mean? Well, meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees is boosting our knowledge in today's Weather IQ. The United States Drought Monitor is a weekly assessment of drought conditions. It is a team effort between the National Drought Mitigation Center, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Many agencies use the Drought Monitor for a variety of reasons. The USDA uses the Drought Monitor to trigger disaster declarations and eligibility for low interest loans. The Farm Service Agency uses it for their livestock forage program. The Internal Revenue Service Service, uses it for tax deferrals on forced livestock sales. Now, while drought is used often in conjunction with rain, it's more complicated than that. Data comes from climatological drought data, including those for fire. The drought monitor also factors in vegetation health, soil moisture, hydrologic data like stream flow, groundwater levels, reservoir levels, soil moisture, and snowpack. Experts then use this data and work with local observers to decide what level of drought each part of the country is. This includes discussing ground truth and impacts with state climatologists, the National Weather Service, and more. It's important to remember that drought is a normal part of the climate cycle. However, it is a slow-moving hazard which often causes people to underestimate the damage it can do. Losses from drought are as substantial as those from hurricanes, tornadoes, and other weather disasters. Drought can cause loss of agriculture, affect the water supply, energy production, public health, wildlife, and contribute to wildfires across the country. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. If you want to keep boosting your weather IQ, we've got you covered. Just take out your phone. You're about to see this QR code right there. If you scan that, it will take you directly to the Weather IQ YouTube page where you can like, subscribe, and all that jazz.